Hey everyone, this is Ross, and lately I've been having a pretty bad algae problem in the 15 gallon. So much so that I've been quite embarrassed to show this tank lately, uh, because I'm supposed to know a lot about planted aquariums, uh, but everyone makes mistakes. Uh, so first of all, if I come up pretty close to the glass, you can see just how much algae has developed in the last week. I cleaned this tank exactly a week ago, and usually it wouldn't have half the amount of algae as this. Um, you can just see down that uh, side there just how much there is and this isn't normal green algae this is actually brown algae and it's actually quite hard to get rid of um, and it, it actually does okay in low light levels um, so cutting the lights down isn't really gonna get rid of it too much uh, but this is my own fault and I brought it on myself and I'm just really disappointed with how the tanks are looking at the minute. Uh, all the fish are still doing fine, the cardinals are fine, uh, so are the quarry cats, everything's okay. But it's just the plants, they're just really taking a beating, like this rotella. Um, if I can get past this algae here, you can see that's starting to get taken over. Um, there's some new shoots, which is quite good to know. But uh, this tank's just really going downhill. And especially the micro swords are really just withering and dying and it's even starting to take over the dwarf sags as well so I, I kinda wanna stop it in its tracks before it gets too bad um, but as I mentioned it, this is my own fault and I brought it on and the first reason why all this algae is kinda broke out is because of the T5 lights uh, the first few weeks of getting these lights the plants were doing absolutely great and there was no problems uh, but then a few people recommended I left the lights on about 8 or 9 hours a day. And so many people were saying it that I thought I'd give it a try. So I gave it a try for a few weeks and the tank just started going downhill. Uh, so I've changed the amount of time I've left the lights on to 4 hours now. I know that's hardly anything but if I want to get rid of this algae that's what I have to do. Uh, so yeah, first of all the lights... They were just, they just really brought the algae out. The second thing I did wrong was I started dosing CKM Flourish Iron uh, when I actually bought these lights. So what I should have really done is started these lights off about four hours a day, gradually increased them about six to seven, and also slowly increased the amount of Flourish Iron I was dosing. But I just jumped straight in and I dosed the proper amount. Um, so that was pretty silly of us, and um, I've still been doing water changes and cleaning the glass and everything, but it's really not working. Uh, so another popular way people suggested I could get rid of this algae is an algae-eating fish called Otto Catfish. The full name is Otto Sinkless. I've actually had them before, and they did a really good job at eating green algae, but I've never actually saw them eat brown algae. Because I'd never really had brown algae in my tanks before this one. Um, so yeah, a lot of people rec were recommending I get some of those. Um, but this tank is pretty much stocked to capacity at the minute. I've got 10 cardinals in here. Uh, 5 amano shrimps, 5 quarry catfish and the dwarf gurami. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much stocked to capacity in this tank. So I really don't want to add any more fish just because it won't be very healthy for the tank and it might just make it more unhealthy um, so what I'm actually considering getting is a larger tank I've been wanting one for a while anyways and I said I was going to get one ages ago but uh, I never got round to it because I didn't have enough money but um, I've still got all my Christmas money and I've been saving up since Christmas so now finally I've got pretty much enough money for a, a larger tank. I'll just turn the light on over here. Um, so I'm planning on getting rid of this wardrobe, uh, just put my clothes on those shelves, and having all this room for a large fish tank. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe a 90 or 100 litre. I'm not sure what that is in gallons, I think it's about 25 to 30 gallons. Um, I'll probably have to type it in on a converter on Google. But yeah, I'm planning on getting a, about a 100 litre fish tank 
and that will enable us to get some algae and fish like a bristlenose placostomus and three or four auto catfish. That also means I can get some more cardinal tetras because I'd like a larger school of these just because they're really nice fish. And um, yeah, I'm going to do a lot of things different in that tank. Um, I'm going to put a lot of things right that I kind of messed up on this tank. For starters, I'm just going to get some T8 lights. Uh, I've always been fine with T8 lights. Uh, before I had these T5s, the plants absolutely loved the T8s. All the plants grew well. But um, yeah, I'd be satisfied with having T8s. And I'm, I'm going to use a uh, Seachem root tabs instead of the flourish iron. I might do us a bit of the flourish iron, but not as much as I did in this tank. So I'll just show you the root tabs which I might be using. So these are going to kind of encourage plant growth and discourage algae growth. And um, I heard that M. Bezik uses these. So they're really good and I'm willing to give them a try out. So yeah, I'm planning on getting a bigger tank. Hopefully the bristlenose pleco will clean the algae on the glass and the auto catfish will clean the algae on the plants. And the reason why I'm not getting rid of some fish in here to make way for auto, auto catfish is just because it, it would be a shame to get rid of the fish in here after I've had them so long. I think I've had them about 8 months now, 8 or 9 months. And they've been fine, so it would be a real shame to have to give them back to the pet store. Um, and then they could be sold to people who won't take care of them. So yeah, I'm planning on getting a bigger tank, a proper stand and everything. Uh, probably a canister filter and um, a UV steriliser I'm thinking of as well. So yeah, I'm going to take this next tank really easy. I'm going to uh, try and keep the algae out. I'm going to only run T8s. I'm going to use root tabs instead of liquid fertilisers. And so what I'm going to basically do is try and salvage the last healthy plants out of here. There is actually still quite a lot of healthy plants in here. The Java fern for example, most of that hasn't got any algae on at all. And Java fern's always been like that with me. It's never really got any algae. You see that leaf there, it's got hardly, ha actually hasn't got any algae on from what I can see. And the leaf next to it, it looks like it has, but that's just how java fern goes once it gets old it starts to develop little brown spots and then it withers and dies so that's just part of its life cycle um, but yeah this next tank I'm planning on having a huge bit of driftwood or bogwood something like that uh, full of java fern easy to grow plants, dwarf sags in the front I'm just not going to make it too uh, too high tech really I'm just going to keep it simple and um, keep the algae away so yeah I've learnt a lot of lessons from this tank and hopefully I'll, I'll improve the next one uh, I've also got this narrow leaf java fern down here which I'll be using in the new tank and this has stayed really healthy I've just been keeping it in this tub for a few months and because java fern is a low light plant it was fine in here this gets natural daylight uh, just through these blinds it's enough to keep it healthy and that I dose liquid fertilization in here and it's stayed really healthy. I'm really pleased with it. So I've got all this narrow leaf java fern which I can use in the new tank. And yeah, I plan to get some algae and fish. And I plan to get rid of this. So yeah, I've just been cutting the lights and I'm cutting the liquid fertilization. Okay, so now I'm going to do a water change on the tank and I'm going to remove some of the plants covered in algae and I'll clean it up and I'll show you the best I can really do. Okay, so I've just done the water change. I've cleaned the glass and the plants the best I can. And on closer inspection, um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of algae actually on the plants. I think it was just mainly on the glass. So I'm pretty happy about that. But um, yeah, so hopefully in the new tank I'll get some auto catfish. And that should completely solve the problem. I'll also get some T8 lights as well. I've completely removed the micro swords because they were just basically too far gone uh, to kind of save. Um, but anyways, this leaves some sand for the quarry catfish to scavenge. Alright, so thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, then please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.